Okay. Um, so our next little clip we're going to talk about, and uh, that's supposed to be two, so I'm going to fast forward. Um, how movies and horror flicks fuel the fear of Halloween. And how, um, I kind of feel these movies entice people to be violent. Um, just, just how with children act today. Children are just so consumed with violence. And there are these video, these violent video games. Now, me, I will not, we do not have any M-rated video games. And I am even very picky on uh, certain video games we've gotten. Um, for example, one video we got about, and it was rated teen. And every other word this one character would say was GD, GD, GD. And I said, take it out. We're getting rid of it. And immediately the next day we took it and we traded it. I said, this will not be in our possession some, and I said, in the fact that um, they are selling this to our teens, I said, it's ridiculous. So, honestly, I play, like, Kingdom Hearts, and they combine, like, um, kind of like a Final Fantasy theme with Disney characters. That's the kind of stuff I play. Um, or the, some music games, like um, Guitar Hero and stuff. But even, um, I refuse to even play some of the songs. I mean, some of the songs in there, I mean, it's very hard as a Christian today to to not be exposed to stuff like this and society and in the evil and, and um, all this uh, blood and guts kind of um, stuff that the society, the mainstream media is promoting or the media machine as we like to say. <coughs> so we're going to share this uh, quick uh, clip about um, um, how movies and horror flicks uh, are fueling fear around Halloween. Fear has always guided Halloween night but what the ancient Celts feared on Halloween were otherworldly spirits. What we're usually afraid of is each other. The terror has only worsened by the way popular culture has dealt with Halloween. Halloween night. A small American town. Fifteen years ago. Movies like Halloween have spawned numerous nail-biting knockoffs and helped spread the idea that Halloween is a night of evil doing, a night where death is in the air, and fear lurks just around the corner. So that's um you know, about how they've used the movie Halloween, and they've redone that movie, I don't know how many times, and, uh, um, to promote, <clears throat> um, violence and fear in people on Halloween, and I'll be honest, I do not go out on Halloween anymore, I do not go anywhere, not on the 31st, or the 1st of November, because it's also considered Devil's Night, Devil's Night is the day after Halloween, and, a lot of uh, really bad things happen on that night. It, it just, it just, I just rather not be out and about on that night because just people do crazy things and they think, and, and you, um, the last few clips talk about how, um, the next clip we're going to share talks about how the church, to, uh, and if, I'm sure people heard about how hell, hell houses, hell stop, um, things like that to try to get people to come to church and see that, if you don't follow God, you're going to hell, and they will walk you through hell. Yes. Keep your hands down because it's it's okay. freezing the framework. So, um, and I actually went through. It's called Hell Stop. It was in Reynoldsburg, Ohio, and uh, when I went, um, it act. I actually watched a young man give his life to God, and uh, because it, they literally take you through hell. It, you know, they show these kids dying in a, a car accident. It's like you're dying. You died in this car accident and you have to walk through hell. And I mean, it, it is, it's real. It is real. It, it freaks people out. I mean, I watch girls screaming and, and at the end you have, you get, there's three doors. There's a door to heaven, there's a door to hell, or there's a question mark. And okay. And if you don't know where you're going, you'll go through the question mark. If you know you're going to hell, I guess you go through the hell door. And if you know you're going to heaven, you go through the heaven door. And at the end of that, this young man got saved. And so many people uh, have gotten saved through things like this because they're they're knowing the truth. And, and if you're not following God, these are the things that's going to happen to you. It doesn't matter if you're, you know, oh, the spirits of the earth are going to protect me. No. 
the devil is on the earth. The devil was cast into the earth to wander about, to deceive, and to t torment us. He, he is the one. He is the goddess of the earth. I don't know. I don't understand people and how they can do this. But we're going to share this clip real quick about how the church has gone. And, uh, well, I'm, I, I pretty much already covered it, so I'm not going to um, play that. So, um, the last clip pretty much like sums it up. Like, how, they, you know, this documentary, it wasn't about, um, they're really not saying Halloween is a bad thing. They're saying that the church thinks it's a bad thing. And they're saying that Halloween is um, fun and okay to celebrate. And even uh, in one clip, the one guy even says it's sensual. It's sensual. And I thought, ooh. <laughs> and they're saying, well, you can do things that you normally can't do. I mean, if you hung decapitated heads and things like that on your front porch any other time of the year your neighbors would call the police on you but if but for Halloween it's okay to put like body parts that have been chopped off and decapitated heads and stuff like that because it's Halloween the rules change for that one day so we'll play that real quick and uh, then uh, we'll um, talk about how what the Bible says about it and uh, um, what you can do with this knowledge and um, how you can Try to help others know the, the truth about Halloween. For kids and adults alike, Halloween is above all about fantasy. A night where death comes to life, spirits are in the air, and roles are turned upside down. It's invigorating, it's sensual, there's a freedom to it that is very, very enjoyable. At the same time, it's ritualized. You can do this at a certain time, in a certain place, some of the images of Halloween, some of the decorations, if people would have put them out at any other time of the year, the neighbors would call the police. But at Halloween, you're allowed to take these very disturbing kinds of ideas and deal with them directly. There's a great liberation, a great sense of freedom to that. In, his, in this man's own words, he said that. Um, so... We're going to um, just share some scripture about what um, the Bible says about what we should do. Let me find it real quick. Oh, I'm also going to share this. Uh, this is from Jeremy, one of Jeremy's blogs he wrote. And it says, um, they were talking about how, um, you know, America just promotes Halloween. It said over $21 million. Over huh? The Bible verses are over there. I've got them right here. Okay. To, um, and this one part of the document, said, or the document I have, says America spends over $21 million on Halloween candies yearly, second only to Christmas. Halloween is the number one season for selling humorous greeting cards in, in North America. Some 25 million cards are sold annually. I don't know when this survey was done or anything, but I'm sure it's more today. Um, and it says here, it says about 16,000 school districts use the Pumpsy the Dragon curriculum by Jill Anderson. Many of the relaxation techniques used as uh, are identical to those used in hypnosis. Hypnosis. Another curriculum called Do So the Dolphin employs relaxation techniques and sends hypnotized youngsters off on guided fantasies to a place called Aqua, Aquatron. Satanism has become a phenomena that crosses the city limits, city limit into the rural uh, areas of our nation. It is reported that there are some 6,000 witches and approximately 10 million people are involved in the occult. However, it is very difficult to establish how many actually participate. These individuals are involved in a wide variety of activities from simply casting spells to human sacrifice. The news wires carry stories after story about young children being kidnapped only to be found later as victims of bizarre ritualistic crime. Uh, I gotta take a quick break. Um, just, we'll be right back just in, a, in one second. 